So today I am going to show you how to install FFMPEG onto your Windows desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the website. This website is where you can download the zip file to Windows. And I'm just using Windows because I am going to use this FFMPEG and implement it into Python code to create a GUI that will edit and display videos onto the Windows desktop. So I have a 64-bit, so I am going to click on this. And we're going to get the latest Windows 64 static zip file right here. And it's going to download to the downloads folder. It's going to take a little bit. There we go. Click on that. We're going to extract this to the desktop. OK. So it should be there. There it is right there. Actually, it's right here. We don't need this one. This one didn't work right. So we should open this folder, and we should have all these. Just this one is the important one. We have the .exe file. But in order for this to work on the command line, we need to go to the C drive right here. And we're going to make a new folder. New. And label it FFMPEG. There we go. So go back to the desktop. Back to the folder. And we're going to cut all these folders and paste them into our new folder. There we go. Now the Windows system still probably will not read them right here. So we have to go to the control panel. Why we have to go to the control panel is because if we just ran the .exe file and we open up the command prompt, FFMPEG. Oh, wait. There you go. It is not recognized as an internal or external command. So we want the command line to recognize it. So we're going to go here and search for advanced. There we go. View advanced system settings. Environment variables. And we're going to choose to temp and edit. So it's in the C drive in the FFMPEG folder. And those .exe files are in the bin. Binary. Okay. So we have that. So work now. Command prompt. FFM. No, it will not. Okay. Go back to advanced system settings. Environment variables. And let's see what happens. So we're back to the environmental variables, and in system variables, we need to create the path. So new path, and we're just going to type the same thing, ffmpg, bin, that's the location, click OK, click OK. One more time, and we will 
will go to the control panel. Oh, I'm sorry, the command line. We're already at the control panel. FFMPEG. And there you go. FFPlay. Yep, so we got that installed and it's ready to go.